Welcome to the Epic Success Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Shannon Irvin. All right, I'm going to dive in today to the neuroscience of sales. See, if you're listening to me on the Epic Success Podcast, chances are you are an entrepreneur, you're a coach, a course creator, a consultant, maybe a CEO trying to optimize, maybe creating a side hustle, and you're wanting to make uh, a life that is released in freedom and released in terms of where you're spending the time and really making those choices. And one of the core pieces of how you build a business, whether it's offline or online, whether you're growing someone else's company or you're growing your own, it really does lean heavily and hard into sales because for a client to say yes, that's sales. For a, a person to buy a product, that's sales. For a person to say yes to a coaching, course creating, or the course, anything like that, that's sales. And what I've watched, because we uh, have the premier coaching certification in the marketplace called the St. Neuro Coach Certification, where we teach coaches how to coach the right way, how to learn brain-based transformations so they can get a hundred percent transformation for their clients a hundred percent of the time and so they create raving fans for their businesses that refer renew and retain their own client base that is where i live and breathe most of my time so i'm constantly teaching how to sell but not from a strategy basis because selling strategically has been the same for thousands of generations. Have an offer, make sure it removes a pain, gives a result, and make that offer to the right person at the right time. There you go. So you don't need a strategy necessarily. You do because I think basics of sales one-on-one means pick up the call, talk to a human, offer those things. Yes. So we're going to pause the strategy conversation and dive into the neuroscience of what happens in sales. So that's what we're going to do this week. Let's go. Oh, I mentioned at uh, the top of the hour, the certification is the doors are open for the certification right now. It is a very exclusive certification. We uh, we limit the amount of people that we certify because we are such a high touch organization where we have coaches coaching you literally in the minute, as well as in, in weekly form. And uh, our goal is to get you to the finish line of a six-figure coaching business and on to seven and, be, and beyond. So if you are losing clients, if you are struggling to get clients, if you have that pit in the bottom of your stomach, wondering if you're going to help your clients or really get them the results and you need that edge to know that you're getting the capacity, the skill to, to get your clients 100% transformation 100% of the time, which creates raving fans for your business, which creates referrals, which creates renewals and retention, which creates scale. If that is you, you're going to want to click the link below and apply to the certification, jump on a call and see if it is right for you. Doors are going to be closing here in just a couple of weeks So you're going to want to make sure that you do that. There is no better gold standard. You cannot get what you learn in the Sync Neuro Coach certification anywhere else because it's trademarked, it's certified, the model itself and everything in it, it cannot be taught anywhere else. And it is the brain science of transformation. So what I want to dive into today is what is going on? What's the neuroscience behind sales? What is happening in the brain of a client that is deciding whether to enroll with you or not enroll with you. And so I wanted to talk about that today because I think if you haven't noticed, it is definitely a different environment in the marketplace right now. Trust is at an all time low. Safety, the desire and the need to feel safe in a purchase is at an all time high. And those have always been a part of the neuroscience that's going on for a client to say yes. But now I would say the scale of those things and what's happening there, your your future client's fight or flight system has been triggered by the environment, by the political environment, the, the financial environment. And just let's be honest, 
the news on a daily basis is such a triggering piece of the puzzle. And so it's almost like financially speaking, their, uh, their fight or flight system is on high alert. So they're worried about getting scammed. They've bought things that haven't delivered. People have bought things and that promised the world and then they got in and the, the coach or the consultant just ghosted them, right? So that all this is going on and it's feeding this insecurity or this flight risk, so to speak, of safety and trust, of safety and trust. And so what are some of the things you can do to help your future clients understand that they are safe, understand that they can trust you and get them to the finish line of saying yes to themselves and enrolling in your program? I want to talk about that in today's day and age. Now, when you're listening to this, if you're listening past uh, July of 2024, these are still going to be the neuroscience of somebody saying yes to a coaching consulting course type of offer, right? So number one, we've got to start with presence. People do not buy what they cannot see. I know that makes logical sense, but if you remember back in like the 2020s, 2019, 2020, there were fewer people making offers online. I think the number increased by 12 million over a five year span. And so there are a lot of people making offers and not delivering on those offers, right? And which I believe is uh, a sin <laughs> and uh, should be punishable, I think, because at the end of the day, it's about getting people results and you should have that integrity to get somebody the result that you've promised them, right? So how do we build the in the person's brain more trust and more safety? Well, number one is by presence. And I don't mean like volume of presence. I don't mean you need to be there 24 hours a day, seven days a week so that they never feel like you're not there. What I mean is when you're on your podcast, when you are doing a live, when you are doing a YouTube video or an Instagram video or a TikTok video, whatever your flavor is, are you really present with your presence? Because there's a part of the brain deep in the corpus cabellum that research shows triggers a fight or flight type of response when someone's presence is not present, even though they are. It's almost like an internal warning system saying, I'm not sure that this person can be trusted. So if you're just checking a box, getting it done, I want to invite you to shift that thinking, to really thinking about putting your clients, potential clients, your audience first over your own needs. And it's, it's a shift that has to happen for entrepreneurs. You know, we're going to be talking about the optimized entrepreneur coming up and, and how to shift thinking so that you optimize. Well, one of the ways that I want to talk about in this uh, neuroscience of sales episode is that part of the brain that fires and triggers when somebody isn't really wanting to be there, right? Where they're not present, <clears throat> even though they're present. And so when you lead through the lens that your clients matter, your audience matters, they need what you are offering. And you build the muscle of not needing to be comfortable when you do it, right? I don't always feel like doing the podcast. I love the podcast, but I don't always feel like it. I don't always feel like going live. I don't always feel like launching. I don't know. I'm just being honest. Can we be honest, right? Neither do you. But what we're able to do is we're able to be, to, to make a decision. In our world, brain-based uh, perspective is deciding in advance. We're going to literally give glucose in our brain to our presence. So that's a skill that you can learn to, to be able to shut off the noise in your own brain, your own needs, right? And to say, I'm going to be so present in this moment to serve 
the people that I really want to become clients. And what happens is when you do that, research shows that they're part of the amygdala lights up, which is the neurochemical in that area of the brain, the neurochemicals that start to build trust, to build safety, right? They're looking, the amygdala looks to patterns of the past and when they feel safe, that, that trust factor goes up. So this isn't doing more, trying harder. This is tapping into the neuroscience of sales in and really being present with your presence, right? And so that requires that you put your audience's needs and your clients, future clients' needs above the chatter in your brain. Now, I'm not going to deep dive into how you can connect with us uh, in our programs on doing that. If you're a coach, like I said, make sure you're getting certified through us so that you know how to have these skills. But number two is, well, let me, let me wrap up the presence piece of the puzzle. What you want to do is be consistent with your presence. So many people, they go all in for a week or two doing a launch and then they go silent for months on end and then they go all in on a launch and they go silent for months at a time. That pattern is putting people on an alert. They don't, that's, that's creating distrust because what it says to the client, even though they may not be able to verbalize it, neurochemically speaking, you're not safe because you only show up when you want something. So when we're being present, we're present in that moment and we're committed to that time. And what starts happening is for your clients, like you guys know, every week there's an Epic Success podcast. And if you're a regular listener, I love you to pieces. Thank you so much. I would love a review if you haven't done that yet. You're, you're used to saying, hey, Dr. Shannon's going to come on. She's going to be talking about the neuroscience of success, the neuroscience of wealth, how to train your brain, how to flip your brain success switch on, the neuroscience of sales. I'm always talking about the science and, of course, the spiritual aspect of how to flip your brain success switch on, right? You know you can count on that with me. What can your audience and future clients count on for you, with you? What is that mode for you? Whether it's YouTube or socials, but don't do it because you have to. Do it because it's the way to connect. It is your, whatever it is, whether it's podcasts, YouTube, socials, emails, whatever it is, don't just check the box. Be present with your presence. All right, secondly, it's it the science behind sales. People are looking at what you're saying and what you're offering and they're comparing it. It's a natural, your brain's natural reticular activating system is looking like, where do I see this? Where have I seen this pattern before, right? And so when you, when you look like everyone else and sound like everyone else, the trust neurochemicals and the safety neurochemicals go down because now you're just one of many versus zigging when other people zag. Like, you know, you really do have unique thinking about what your client is suffering with. You've gone through it yourself. You've, you've got your own stories. You have your own enemies, right? You've heard me talk about the enemy of education and how the educational system is still training employees and not entrepreneurs, right? You've heard me say that so many times, training your brain to be, to take outside in action, looking for validation, looking for permission. Why? Because the educational system taught that to us and beat intuition out of us, right? So you, that's my enemy, one of my enemies, right? So you have this different thinking, but for you, it doesn't feel safe. And so we tip, tend to slip back in that slipstream of what we hear everyone else saying. But unfortunately, when you do that, you actually trigger those neurochemicals in the brain of your potential, your audience member that's a potential client to start to compare you with everyone else because they don't have any way to differentiate you. So number two is start to think about what you're thinking about. Start to be verbal about what you stand for, what you care for. Don't sound like everyone else. Be quirky if you're quirky. Be goofy if you're goofy. Be a God girl if you're a God girl. Be a scientist if you're a scientist. Be both. Like that's me, right? I'm both. And 
And so I talk through those lenses on a very consistent basis. And what is it for you? Because yeah, you want to be present with your presence and you want to think, you want to zig when other people are zagging. You want to think like you, not like everyone right? Because that increases the neurochemicals of trust. That increases the neurochemicals of safety. And those two have to be present in high levels in order for someone to trust you enough to say yes. So look at what you're doing right now. Look at sales pages, how you're launching, how you're putting yourself out in the world and ask yourself this one important question. Am I present in this or is this just good marketing language? So we can tell that somebody else wrote it. Yeah, chat GPT, hello, right? Don't do that, right? I'm not saying don't use AI. I use it all throughout my business, but I use it strategically. And then let me know uh, out on Instagram or TikTok if, you're, if you want me to dive into AI and how AI is impacting the neuroscience of success. I would love to do a, a live on that, but I got to make sure you actually want that. I don't want to just geek out all by myself. Here's the thing. Look at how you're putting yourself out there in the world and just ask yourself that really great question. Is this increasing trust and safety or is this just a bunch of information that's going to put somebody in overload? I can't really tell what the problem is that I get to solve. And so they, they go back into that fight or flight neurochemical system, start comparing you to other people, and then you just become one of the mob versus setting yourself apart. So I've been saying this for the last few weeks. I'm going to say it again. This right now is separation season. I want you to tap into the neuroscience of sales and the neuroscience of why somebody says yes to you versus someone else so that you can scale because what's happening right now is there's a lot of people who are not doing this and they're trying to do things the way that they've always done them and hope that it eventually works. And unfortunately, the newest research statistic shows that what used to take two weeks for a buying decision is taking two months for a buying decision. What we're talking about today is how you shortcut that. How do you move somebody along that decision-making process because you authentically, genuinely are present and you're thinking in a way that allows them to cut through the noise and truly, truly hear you, which separates you and puts you at the front of the line for who they're going to work with. It, it really is tapping into what matters most for them right now, safety, trust, and making sure every element of your presence and how you're spending your words out in the internet is aligned with what's going to build those neurochemicals versus taking them away. We, we've got to get our audience members and our future clients out of fight or flight, out of lack of safety, out of lack of trust, and build that natural bridge to working with you is the safest and most trustworthy thing that they could do right now. So I hope this episode has been helpful to you. I want you to really dive into how do you get the edge in this separation season? How do you really make it work? And stop the noise of just more marketing language, more messaging shifts, more chat GPT. Just stop the madness for a moment. Put yourself in the shoes of your client, your audience members, and really build those neurochemicals for them of safety, and trust, being present in your presence, and thinking like you really are, not like the rest of the world does. And the more you lean into that, the more those neurochemicals of safety, of trust, of feeling like you have the answer rise to the surface for your audience members, and the more of those audience members become clients and say yes to your amazing coaching or course or consulting. All right. That's what I have for you this week. If this episode has been valuable, let me know out on social. Yes, it is me on Instagram at Dr. Shannon Irvin and on TikTok. I answer all those comments. So just tag me, post the episode, let me know what you learned from it. And of course, those of you that are in the coaching industry, I'm going to remind you again that the doors are open right now for the Sync NeuroCoach certification. I believe there are 10 spots left and that is it. Once we close the doors, we do not uh, offer that again for a little while. So 
if you know in this season you need to separate yourself and get that edge in your coaching business, if you if you don't have those consistent sales, it might just be because you don't have the skill to get your clients the level of transformation they need so that they they stay, they retain, they renew over and over again so the bucket stops leaking and they refer. And that, my friend, is how you scale a coaching business. So if that is you, make sure you book uh, do the application, book a call. Link is down in the show notes. And next week, we're going to be diving all into the optimized entrepreneur. How do you work at a level that allows you to truly benefit and be optimized as an entrepreneur? All right, that's what I have for you this week. Until next week, bye for now.